Y'all hear that? That hissing, staticky sound? Hold up, let me try something. Now it's gone, right? Hmm. Hold up. Now it's back. What is that? Let me show you. What's going on people, it's your man Dale Mixed It. And that crazy, staticky, hissy sound that you heard is coming from this, the Lark 150 from Hollyland. This system is a wireless microphone system that comes in this nice charging case, comes with two receivers. I have one on me right now. Uh, actually, excuse me, two transmitters and one receiver, which is right here. So the charging case houses everything and simply charges via USB-C. But there's a problem. One of the great things about this unit is that it has several recording modes. So right now you can see that I am in stereo mode. So in stereo mode, I sound nice and crystal clear. There's no static, there's no hiss, but obviously if I'm in stereo mode, that means the signal is panned to the left or the right, depending on which transmitter that I am using. When you go into mono mode, which I'm gonna do here, all of a sudden, you get this loud static sound to where it, to me, it sounds like the signal to noise ratio is greatly off in the mono mode. Now I've tested this in the A10 mini directly. I've tested it on both of my cameras and it still does the same thing. Matter of fact, it even does it when I use the headphone output that's built into the receiver. It still does the same thing. So that lets me know hundred percent that it is this receiver that is causing that issue. Okay, so now we're back in stereo mode, which sounds a lot cleaner than mono or safe track mode, but to me that defeats the whole purpose of the different modes. The whole reason for mono mode is when I'm recording myself or I'm doing an interview with a single person and I just need the one microphone. That microphone should be right down the middle. I shouldn't have to go into post-processing to make that microphone be in the center. It should already be that way because there's a mono mode built into this unit. Same thing with safe track. The whole point of safe track is for me to be able to record my signal on one channel, the way I set the volume. And then for whatever reason, if there's some clipping or just too loud, I have a six dB lower track that I can use in post. That's going to be a lot cleaner, but because this unit doesn't work that way, I'm stuck having to use stereo mode 99% of the time. I haven't tried the iPhone mode because it does come with that to where you can use the unit for a phone. It comes with a TRRS cable in the box. But again, this is an issue. And the way we know it's an issue, even further doing some digging, you go on their website and there's this web page that is in their article section. If we go to this page on their website, it literally says how to set camera or phone if there is great noise. You're telling me to connect the line out of the Lark to the camera, then put it in stereo mode, set the volume between 12 and 15, and then set the camera to record at its minimum volume. Now, come on, Hollyland. That's not a that's not a fix for the problem. Like we need a firmware update or maybe you guys need to take these things back and, and, and fix them. But that is not a fix for this because clearly there's an issue and you know about this issue. So, Hey, what's up? Can we get a fix for this? Because right now I'm really thinking about selling this unit, getting rid of it, getting something else because I need the mono mode. I really do. I, I, I can work around the stereo because I'm an engineer, but I know there's so many other people that would buy this unit that aren't audio engineers and don't know how to fix this. And no, we don't want to use Blackmagic's noise reduction tools. We don't want to use Clarity VX from Waze. We don't use none of that kind of stuff. The audio should just be clean, flat out the box. So Hollyland, what's up? 